Hi, welcome back. You are watching Kolsky RC and today we're going to have a look at the TBS Tango 2 Pro. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. Today we're going to have a look at this. This is the TBS Tango 2 Pro. Uh, you've probably seen loads of these before. The difference with this one is this one is fully multi-protocol multi because it has been adapted the back to have the multi-protocol module fit. So let's just go through the controller itself first. This is what you're going to get. This comes in at around £189. It's, it's expensive, it comes with no receivers, it just comes and it doesn't come with obviously the module or anything on the back. You get this is what you get with it, which is obviously a crossfire transmitter. So the only thing it's capable of transmitting is crossfire, but you get very low latency with this and you do get a really nice experience flying it. So the difference in the Pro, it comes with a nice little velvet bag, I suppose. There's a couple of other differences, but one of the main ones is the sticks fold. So you can fold the sticks away to put it in a bag or whatever, and they simply knock back. And I thought they'd be a bit slop in there, but they're not. The gimbals on this thing feel really, really, really nice. It's a very nice thing to fly with. It does feel really nice in your hand. It has a power button underneath here, a USB-C slot for charging, and an audio jack for putting onto your headphones if you want to voice commands. And then on the back you have an E and an F button, which obviously are programmable because they're just like normal mode buttons. You have uh, an A and a B, single push buttons. So those are just one touch. So as you can see, they push in and push out. And then you have these two three position switches here, a B and a C. And then, it does, it is plastic and it does feel, it, well if you hold one, you wouldn't, wouldn't understand what I mean. So when you've got this in your hand here, these switches are naturally at the top, right on your fingertips. So changing modes is so easily just by doing that rocker switch there. I'm a pincher, it's absolutely fine for pinching and I can change with this one here. It does come with this little lanyard holder which you just see when really it comes in the box. And then down here you've got your exit button, your menu button, your page button. Let's talk about the gimbals. The gimbals feel really nice out of the box, but they're a little bit weak for me. So you have to take, I had to take the back off and I had to make this mode one anyway, because this came mode two. Very easy to do, just tighten and tighten, like slacken off some screws. So I had to do that anyway, and then doing that allowed me to adjust the tension on my sticks just by adjusting, um, simply adjusting a couple of screws. These pull off at the back here, if you just put your finger in these, you can pull these off, they're not glued on they just go into little studs, little plastic studs at the back and you have three screws on either side, take the back up, take that off and off comes the back. Nothing attaches to the back so you'll just have it nice and free in your hand. Underneath you have your power button and this thing runs on Freedom TX which is obviously a, a division of Open TX, a fork of to update this and do modifications to this transmitter, you need to go on to the, use the TBS's own um, app that you can download for Windows and you can very easily do updates uh, for your firmware and your receiver. These do. This is OTA, so your receivers are over the air. Um, over the air updates, so very easy to use. And on the front of it, you've got your... Uh, network button so you can see is I am actually running this on this module on this here so this is actually set up for a 65 millimeter whoop same way as everything else go into here select model select I hope you can see that on the screen let me get that on back of the camera select your model you want so if I go to my Mr. Croc I select my Mr. Croc model select model and so as you can see it's turned it off because now I'm on crossfire so it's a simple matter of doing that. To enter your crossfire menu, it's a simple menu press. Go down and you are in your Tango 2 XF. Select that. Let's see if I can get a bit closer to the screen. Tango 2 XF, when you select that, you can get all your updates here. You can run this on 250 milliwatt, but with this version, you can now, with the latest firmware, you can now go to 500 milliwatts. I fly on 250, I have no need for 500 really. And this is how you would set up your Crossfire receiver. Come out of this again, and again, and then I go menu and I go page. As you can see, I'm in the typical menu you'd see for any um, OpenTX 
transmitter. If you're thinking this screen small, you're right, but it's ridiculously easy to read because it's an, uh, an OLED screen, so it's very, very pin sharp. I thought I'd have a problem with it because my eyes aren't great, but it's pin sharp. It really is nice to read. And we come out of that again, exit out, exit out, and then if I just go, um, come out of that, and just go, and there's no telemetry screens on there. You can go straight back into your menu again. So it really is nice and easy to use. Sorry about that. I didn't know what we're doing there for a second. Really is easy to use. So it's, if you're familiar with that, it's as simple as that. Now the biggest thing for most people are going to be to get used to these switches. Because the switches work this way. So off is down. So position zero is this end. And position two if you like. So if it's zero, one, two. So position two will be behind you. And it's done that way because obviously it's more natural. If you want to change modes to do that, right, press away from it rather than towards you. So it feels nice and it's quite substantial in your hand, but it's you don't get, can't get over the fact this is plastic. And if you look, you can see molding marks slightly through. You can see the lines and you can see where molding pin is back there. And it's not the thickest plastic in the world. And you can see a molding line there and there. So... For the money, it's expensive. So the title of this video is almost the perfect radio because it, the reason it is and it is only almost perfect is the fact that the cost of this. So it's 189 for this. Your unit, you can buy different. Let's talk about this. So this plastic bay that goes in the back of here comes with this pin and this little board and that's 11 pounds you need to buy that you need to cut a hole in the back of your nice new transmitter I don't know if you can see in there I drilled the hole in mine if you can see a round circle in the back of there you can make it out or not probably not but there is a circle cut behind there because you have to buy a, rib a ribbon connector out from the back of the board into this this cover then screws on and holds this little plate in place but then of course you need one of these. Now don't get me wrong, you can buy a cheap one of these, you can get different makes. There's um, a few different ones of these. The iRange X is 20, 29 pound I've seen it for, but more than likely it goes for 39. Or this one is 49, and this is a TBS one itself. But don't be fooled by that, because TBS don't make that. This is made by Radio Master. So although it says TBS on the front, I can assure you this is a Radio, Radio Master product that you get in the box. And it comes just like that with an antenna in a, in a box for 50 quid. So when you've paid 50 for this and you've paid a tenner for the other thing, you're into 250 quid for a radio to have it multi-protocol. Now the advantages you're going to say is of course you've got crossfire and I can't deny that. So you can't deny the fact that there is crossfire there. But for £209 or 219 I think, you can get this, which I've already reviewed on the channel. So this is a TX16S Max, so it's top of the... They do blinged up ones now, but at the time of the top of the range one they did, so it's, it's called Max because it comes with the Crossfire unit to go in the back, and it comes with three Nano RXs with three sets of antennas, the proper... Uh, these type of ones, and also the single core ones. And that comes in at 219 so which is £30 less than that. So, is it a lot of money? The, the choice is going to come down to it if you want to spend that kind of money in the first place is, is it just you want this form factor? Now, I can, I've been more than used to flying with this. This form factor is what I've been used to for years, not just in the guise of that or jumper, but in... For Tarber and everything else I've had in the past, JR, they might not look the same, but the form factor is the same. Same kind of size, same kind of weight, and a full size radio. And then you've got this come out, and this is very much like in the form factor of the Tyrannis the Light. So, if, you, if this is what you're going for, this is a brilliant radio. And I'm not saying for one minute, I can actually, I think this one feels better on the controls than this does. I honestly do. But it's not just because of the height uh, size of it, it's because these gimbals just feel that nice. And I love the the array of switches. But, and this is a big but, this is completely useless to you if you don't want to fly 
if you only want to fly if you don't want to fly just once because that's all it's good for there's no if you look on the outside of here we have absolutely no trims whatsoever so you've got no trim support on here whereas on this of course i've got trim so i can use planes helis whatever i want to do with this and i fly rc planes so for me this could never be my one and only transmitter so i could never use it just for that so i end up using this this and of course i use the main thing i use is probably the ddi transmitter but i have been using this as my daily driver to get used to it and what i can tell you is i agree with a lot of the reviews that people say it might not look the best quality thing in the world but it's very nice to use and the range is fantastic on it the latency feels next to nothing and it just is a nice piece of kit but would i recommend people buying it no i couldn't do that in all honesty i'd recommend probably buying this over that um and I'm not the biggest fan of the radio mask, you'll have seen from my other reviews I did on this. Don't get me wrong, there's anything wrong with the radio, it's just not really what I'd like. It's good, there's things I don't like about it and things I love about it. But it's a better value money set than this is. This is obviously radio mask and this is backed up by TBS. Long term, how, how long is this going to last and how long is this going to last, well who knows. But I can tell you this, using the Dale driver, I love it. And I have been using that more than this recently. Um, for just flying quad. So what I've tended to do is now planes are set up on this. I have we planes I can also have crossfire obviously set up on my planes. I'm flying quads on this and then I'm always saying using the DJI transmitter as well. I will have a review when as soon as I can get my hands on the new jumper. Uh, T-Lite, I don't know if you've seen that, similar looking thing to this. Quite fat looking, weird looking thing. Um, I will get my hands on that and review it. And there's also the new jump uh, new radio master 8 channel one which looks fairly similar to it except it looks like a screen that you can pop on and take off the top i won't be reviewing that because i really don't like the look of it and i'm not buying two of them so that do virtually the same thing so i'll probably review the jumper one and i presume loads of people are reviewing the radio master one when it comes out but we will have that coming up on the channel and maybe that's going to be at the price i think it's 55 pounds gb gbp for the four in one version and if for 10 or less i believe it is or maybe for only five pound less you can buy the one that is purely fr sky for tarba and corona um which probably might be a better buy for a lot of people if they're only flying fr sky but i'm probably gonna i'm gonna get the four in one and we'll see how we go with that so thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day don't forget please like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed please share the video and tell your friends Thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day.